what could its reigning men possibly be about? Well, we've been thinking of females in this kind of Victorian sense. So the females are coy individuals. They don't need much sex. But actually, the more we study animals, the more we find that females actually kind of enjoy sex and have an awful lot more sex than we give them credit for. And they will seek out lots of different males as well. And this was a big puzzle. Uh, I mean, why, these male scientists ask, why possibly would females want lots of sex? I know, right? And so they came up and they found a few ideas. And the most obvious one is that if you go on lots of dates with lots of males, then you get bought dinner a lot because <laughs> sex and dinner go together nicely. This is a bush cricket. This here is a ball of jelly called a spermatophylax. This is the bush cricket's equivalent to cooking a gourmet meal. So the more males you get, the more food. It's hands down amazing. But as we all know, there are some males who are just pretty rubbish in the kitchen. They're not very good at cooking meals. So instead of cooking a meal, they kind of feed themselves to the female. And this is sexual cannibalism. This is a red back spider. And the male will throw himself into the jaws of his female. And it's not as bad as it sounds because she ends up more fed. And so her offspring are more nourished. And she's also less likely to run away and sleep with another male if she's busy chomping on her previous partner. So everyone wins. <laughs> and here's three species, and a daily penguin, bonobo, and capuchin. Does anyone know why these three are linked in terms of why females want more sex? No? You'll be surprised. The thing that links all three of them is prostitution. Oh, so a daily monkeys, these a daily monkeys, a daily penguins are the ones that were on David Attenborough. They're the really cute ones. They make their nests out of rocks, and they're the ones the way David Attenborough decided in the BBC that they would go over and steal rocks from the other penguins' nest when they weren't looking. And everyone's like, "Oh, this is so cute!" But these rocks are so scarce and valuable that they're almost a form of currency, and the females will therefore exchange sex for rocks. The BBC didn't decide to put this in their program. <laughs> I have no idea why. Um, but bonobos, yeah, like you say, make love, not war, so they make, they shag everything. Um, but they'll also, the males are the ones that hunt and get the meat, so if females want more meat in their diet, then they'll just have sex with a male. Um, and capuchin monkeys, this is a bit of a sneaky one, because in one study, uh, researchers decided that they'd try and work out what happens if you give monkeys money. So they trained capuchins on how to use coins in exchange for food. And then the story goes, one researcher saw out of the corner of his eye a male hand a female a coin, and the female then proceeded to have sex with the male. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't know the extent to which prostitution benefits the capuchin economy, because... The researchers took great pains to prevent any of this behavior from happening again. So we'll never know, even in the name of science.